Mike Goswell, now it's Dave's four, on the Z400 to Z125 swap. I'm going through and uh, one of the nodules right quick, I got this little thing right here. That's what my uh, throttle body's mount off of. I'm gonna get him to cut me a flange like the back side of that. I'm gonna get him to cut me two of them actually. One so I can mount on the block. One I can go through and uh, mount to this. I put my motors back in and bolt it to this. And that way I can go through and I plan on taking it and seeing if I can't move the throttle bodies without having to cut the backbone of the, the bike. I'm trying to, I mean, I know I can, I can cut the backbone of the bike. I can throw the throttle bodies up in. I can move the fuel pump. I can do everything, all that little stuff. But I'm trying to keep from cutting the backbone the best as possible. Like I'm trying, to, I don't like trimming on and stuff, but the backbone is the main support of the bike. And my luck, I cut it, I, it'll break in half. I promise you the bike will end up breaking in half eventually. So I just trying to stay away from cutting that part out of it. At least give me something underneath me when it does break in half. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm gonna like some get Nigel to go through and cut me these little flanges here. And that way I can move my throttle bodies anywhere. I do like move anywhere on the bike I want to. I know you I'm moving the injectors away from the motor a little bit and all that. But with aftermarket ECUs and stuff nowadays, I can always go through and turn up my uh my Always y'all wipe my nose in every video. Nikki always tells me every video I wipe it for some reason. But I can always the acceleration rate, which is kind of like a carburetor. You have a uh, on the side of it. You, you you have a little arm, and that arm basically what it does it sprays fuel before the jets take over. That's that's the purpose of it. it it's an accelerator pump, is what it's called. And when you hit the gas on a car to start out with, on a, on a carburetor motor, when you hit the gas, it sprays an initial spray of fuel before the jets get enough vacuum to suck open through the venturis. So uh, that's the whole uh, the whole purpose of the accelerator pump. So if you have a car and you got a road and you hit the gas on it and it has a stumble and then it comes alive, more than likely it's something to do with the accelerator uh, pump on it. So you need to check the arm, make sure it ain't loose. Because it's like I said, if it turns around and uh, you hit the gas and it goes full and then it comes alive, 100% accelerator pump. It's more than likely going to be your issue. It's going to be something to do with that initial spray. If it's spraying and you have a bog, then more than likely it's probably timing or something else related. But me moving the injectors can affect that. But the only thing about it is, as long as I have everything airtight, ideally, other than maybe a startup, a little hesitation on startup, it should take over because when revolutions start, the injector spray, the injectors don't just spray, they, they spray when they're told to spray. But an injector, when a valve is closed, it always has fuel sitting there. It don't always just have no fuel there because once the motor starts running, it starts spraying, the valve starts closing, it always has fuel right there in front of the valves a little bit as it as it's does, you know, as, as the rotation goes around. So I'm not so much worried about it having a stumble or nothing. If it, if it does, then we'll address it. Like I said, I'll, I'll get a, uh, I'll get aftermarket ECU or I'll get the software from my computer. I'll just turn the acceleration uh, speed up on it. That way it won't have no bobble, no hesitation. But we'll figure it out. I ain't scared of it. Like I said, I'm not no different than like a carbureted motor. When you move it here, you move it away from the motor. If you take a motor, if you take an engine that has a single plane, a low rise single plane on it, and then you, with a carburetor, and then you move it to like a high ram style or tunnel ram with it, as long as you get your, as long as you get your accelerator pump and all that stuff right on it, it'll run just the same. Like, I'm gonna move these throttle bodies, I'm gonna extend these wires on the harness, I'm gonna get it moved, get the fuel line moved, get the throttle bodies mounted. Once I get the throttle bodies mounted, then I can look about moving out my radiator. Once I get my radiator mounted, I'm gonna strip the whole harness down and I'm gonna rewire a lot of stuff. I'm gonna thin that harness out because I don't like the way it looks personally. I can make it look better than that. So um, I can extend some stuff, I can shorten some stuff and all, and it'll all be better than that. But anyways, I've done enough talking. Let me get rid of Nigel's. I'll show y'all his little table and have him measure this out for me and cut it out and all that. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Right with you. All right, now look at it. Look at it, I'm gonna show y'all something. You know what happens when your Grom becomes a trailer queen? 
You lose the back brakes and you never lose the chicken stripe off the side of your tire. Look at that thing. Look at this thing. Look at this dude over here. Got a damn drag bike. Look at it. Fuel tech. This thing got more technology than my car has in it. What kind of crap is that? Look at him. It's all right, because you know what? That fuel tank still ain't gonna get in front of that Kawasaki. Only way he get in front of that Kawasaki is if I hit the brakes. Y'all let John know he can build all the neon transmission in the world, but it still ain't gonna save him from what that old Kawasaki gonna do to him. Charles still going with nitrous in his. Yeah. These holes are not even. Okay, yes, way not. Okay, way off that way. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see how it works. Great coming off modeling right quick. Check it out. The fitment is like it's made for it. We got a little bit of port off each one of them. Just a hair once we weld it. But all in all, look at that. I got both of them just bolted together. Man, she's gonna work out good. So now I can space it out and put it anywhere I want to put it. I won't have to worry about it. We're gonna get it tomorrow. I plan on getting these things mounted, and I'll get the radiator mounted, and then I can go through and uh, see if I can't get this thing right. Use the wire mess, but see, I got all this fitted. It fits really, really good, honestly. All the way around, it it does real, real good. So not just doing a good job on that. So now I'm gonna work on. Uh, cleaning this throttle body, taking some of them hoses off that we don't need right here. Go ahead and bypassing that stuff and see if I can get this thing uh, thinning down a little bit to where it fits a little better. Sorry about how big the image is. All right, so I got my flange up on there like I showed you. I got this and bolted up. Just, I got the outer two tight, the inner one ain't. Just kind of thinking about where I'm gonna put this. I know the throttle cable here reaches to this side pretty well. And see that that right there bolts up from the bottom because it used to bolt up on the other one from right here. So see it bolts up from there. So if I put it, if I put this here, I can just run my cable up, boom, just as pretty as you please right there. And what I'm thinking like, so I, excuse all this wiring. I'm, I'm gonna straighten all this out tomorrow, right? After I get these things right here mounted. What I'm thinking about doing is coming in here, just something similar to this and setting them throttle bodies up facing straight forward in the little ram air effect. I, I can remove that little metal piece right there out of the top, that's just a vent. I can cap it off or plug it. I can still remove some of these from the bottom down here, these hoses. It's a tight fit, but I can make it work. I know I can make that bend. All I'll do is do a light little bend coming top, come over top of that coil right there, and I can build that. The only issue is, I would probably, well, I know I would. It wouldn't have probably about, I'd have to take the motor off of it to get this out. 
So what I'm gonna do tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and tack all this. Get all this tacked. And then I'll have to take my motor mount loose here. And I'll take it out of the back. I'll have to drop it down to get it to where I need it. I'll weld it up and then I'll put it on and then we'll put it in for the final time. And like I said, my throttle body, if I put it here, I can still reach my cables underneath. My steering's still good. All that stuff. Still have plenty of room for that. I can get my cables to work. I can get the motor to work without cutting the backbone. Still got to wire my fuel pump up. Still got to clean all this crap up. But all in all, I think it'll work right there. My fuel line, I don't know if it'll reach. It might reach. Let's see where the fuel line goes. Well, I think the fuel line will even reach too. Look right there. Fuel line's in the area. I don't know if it's quite long enough or if it will be long enough or if I'll have to cut it and go get a... They make this tube at Advance. This kind of hose right here. They make it at Advance. They sell repair stuff, so I can build a new fuel line. That's that stuff's easy. That stuff ain't ain't nothing to worry about. I took the vent tube off right here. I think I'll probably end up plugging this one off because we actually have a case vent right there. Right there. See it? I'm gonna run a hose from there, run it out the back for the vent. It can just vent on its own to the atmosphere because we ain't gonna have an air box on it. But we get in there, like I said, we're gonna clean up all this crap. I'm working on it tomorrow. I'm gonna get up early. Go over to Nigel's. John's gonna be there. I'm working on building this first, get this mounted. Then after I get it mounted, then I can look about mounting my radiator. And once I get my radiator mounted, then I'm gonna work on going through getting the wiring cleaned up the way I want it, the way it should be, and get it where it looks right. Like I said, I don't think it's, I don't think it'll be too bad, honestly. I still got a lot of little stuff. I talked to Sprocket Specialties today about my, called him on the phone, talked to him about my Sprocket and stuff. So. He's supposed to let me know about it. Tomorrow I'll go ahead and mount the brake stuff, the brake reservoir, but I'm gonna go through and get this right here. Sorry. I'm gonna get the sprocket stuff took care of, the rear sprocket, the bearings are on the way, the clutch baskets on the way. The real thing, the big thing we had to do now is get the throttle bodies mounted, fuel pump wired, throttle hooked up, clutch cable run to the other side of the motor, just stuck on there for now. And, uh, odds and ends but like i said it's getting there it looks like a mess but we try we'll get it we'll have it running here probably in a week or so y'all wish me luck anyways please like share subscribe and comment i'll see you one later thank you